السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته أهلا وسهلا ومرحبا بكم Welcome to this video which we will be talking about the five or the different types of khabar the different types of khabar in a nominal sentence okay the first thing we want to mention is the first thing we want to mention is in the arabic language there are two types of sentences there are two types of sentences first sentence you have for example you have al jumla al jumla tu ismiya al jumla tu ismiya you have a nominal sentence then you also have al jumla tu fi'liya you have a verbal sentence you have a verbal so you have two types of sentences you have a nominal sentence and you have a verbal sentence let's leave the verbal sentence to one side for now so we're going to concentrate on the nominal sentence in a nominal sentence you will need or you look for two things in a nominal sentence you look for al mubtada and you look for al khabar al mubtada is the subject and al khabar is the predicate or the news okay you can translate as predicate or news so these are the two things you look for you look for the subject and you look for the news so in the arabic books the arabic language books you will they will define khabar in three they will describe it in three but to simplify it and for us to understand we're going to simplify and we're going to explain it into five categories or five types of khabar we're going to mention it in as five types okay just to make it simple for us and have a better understanding of these types of khabar <coughs> so in arabic they call it anwa'ul khabar anwa'ul khabari okay anwa'ul khabar the types of of news okay the types of news so what are these types of news let's explain that now right so the first type is called in arabic muf rad mufradun which means a single word mufradun I apologize for the sniffling. I have um, a bit of cold. So, mufradun, it means one word. So, the khabar is going to be one word. So, you have, for example, the sentence, al kitabu jadidun. Oops, jadidun. Al kitabu. Jadidun. Al Kitabu Jadidun. So this is your subject, Al Mubtada. Al Mubtada. And this Jadid is the Khabar coming as a single word, Mufrid. So the book. What about the book? Give me some sort of news. It is Jadid. It is new. It is new. We have another example. When it comes to Mufrad. And that is Al-Qur'anu Al-Qur'anu Kitabullahi Kitab al 
قران كتاب الله so we have this first word which is al quran it is the subject mubtada it is the subject what does a subject mean it means it's a focal point it's a focal point of the sentence so a focal point of this sentence is the book of, is the quran what about the quran then we say it is what a book a book of of allah so where's the predicate where's the news it's just this word here kitabu kitabu and you're going to describe it as mudaf and allahi lafzul jalala is mudaf ilayhi so this is the first type of khabar which is mufrad a single word so you have al kitabu jadid the book what about the book this is the focal point of the sentence al kitabu what about the book give me some sort of news about the book it is what it is new okay so this is the first type of the types of khabar then we have the second type and they call it jarun wa majrurun jarun wa majrurun Jarun wa majrurun it's something what you call in arabic it's something what you call in arabic shibhul jumlati shib what does shibhul jumlati mean it's a phrase shibhul jumlati means it's a phrase it's not a complete sentence but it what it's a phrase So the second type, jarun wa majrurun, we have the example. For example, al kitabu. Let's keep it basic and simple for us to have a better understanding. Al kitabu, al al maktabi, maktabi. Al kitabu, al al maktabi. Okay, al al maktabi. So. We have this, which is al kitabu, which is a focal point of the sentence, telling us, saying that it's what the book. What about the book? Telling us that the book is what. Give me some sort of news. It is what on the desk. Al al maktabi, al al maktabi. It is on the desk. So this is the second type. So what does this jarun wa majrurun mean? So jarun means harfu. Jar, a particle or letter of pulling down. So here, this is part of harfu jar family. So ala means upon, and the word after this gets a kasra. Okay, the word after this will get a kasra, and this is what you call ism majrur. Ism majrur. Okay, majrur. Ismu majrur. Okay, so in short, jarun wa majrur. Call it jarun wa majrur. In short, okay, harfu jar is a majrur. Al kitabu al al maktabi. The book is on the desk. So this is our second example. Then we have a third example of the types of khabar. Let's get rid of this, and we have. ظرف 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 again it's a phrase ظرف which means adverb of place or time and it's also شبه الجملة also a phrase adverb of time and adverb of place it's a phrase It's a phrase. This is what shibhul jumlati means. A phrase. Phrase of a sentence. So we have, for example, al kitabu, al kitabu, 
تحت المكتب الكتاب تحت المكتب الكتاب is the focal point of the sentence what about the book tell me something some sort of news about the book it is under the desk so here just only this only this word tahta tahta it is the khabar only this okay and this would you, you would call it mudafun ilayhi mudafun ilayhi okay maktabi al kitabu tahta al maktabi the book is under the desk Then we have the third, sorry, I apologize, the fourth type of news predicate. And we call it Al-Jumla, Al-Jumlatu Al-Ismiyatu. And this probably is one of the, the probably the, the hardest out of all the four to try to understand. So we call it al Jumlatu al ismiyatu. Al jumlatu al ismiyatu. A nominal sentence. The khabar will come as a nominal sentence. So you have the example as this. We could say Hamidun. Hamidun. أخوه وزير. Okay. حامد أخوه وزير. Right. حامد. He is the focal point of the sentence. He is what? The subject. المبتدأ. Al Mubtada. He is the excuse me, he is the focal point of the sentence. Then we have all this as the news. So Hamid, what about Hamid? Give me some sort of news. What is the news? His brother is a minister. His brother is a minister is a minister. So Ahuhu Wazirun. So because this is a Nominal sentence. What does a nominal sentence contain? It should contain a subject and it should contain khabar. These two things it should contain. So because this is a nominal sentence, we have to break this down and identify the subject and the predicate. The subject and the predicate. So where is the subject and the predicate? So if we leave this to one side, Hamid, put it to one side. Okay, we leave this to one side. Then we say, Ahuhu, Ahu is your subject. Ahu is your subject. Wahua mudaf, and it is mudaf. Who is mudaf ilayhi? So we're saying, His brother. What about his brother? Tell me some sort of news about his brother. He is Wazirun. And this would be the khabar within this sentence. So you would say, some, for example, you'd say Hamidun is Mubtada number one. Khabar is Mubtada, sorry, Khabar, this whole sentence is the Khabar number two. Number one, sorry, number one. Is number one. And then you'd break this down again. And you'd say that Akhuhu is Mubtada number two and Wazir is Khabar number two. So I hope that's understood. Okay, I hope that is understood. We'll give another example just to cement our understanding. We have, for example, Fatima Fatima to Indahu. Or in the ha sayyara. Sayyara. 
So, let's analyze this sentence. Fatima, this is the subject. This is the subject. What about Fatima? Tell me something about Fatima. In the sayyaratun. In the sayyaratun. In the sayyaratun. So this whole sentence is the news. So then we have to break this down within it. And then we're going to say... عندها, remember one thing, just take note that ظرف and جارٌ جارٌ ومجرورٌ will never ever be the subject and mubtada. It can't be, these two things cannot be the subject. So عندها is an adverb. So ظرف. So this will not be the sub the, the the subject in this within this sentence. So sayyara, sayyara is going to be the subject, and in the ha is going to be just in the, just the in the is going to be the news, and ha is going to be mudafun ilayhi. Okay, and finally. Is the last type of khabar, type of news, and that is, and that is al jumlatu al fi'liyatu, al jumlatu al fi'liyatu. Very good. Okay, which is a verbal sentence. The khabar is a verbal sentence. So, for example, we could say Bilalun kharaja. من الفصل من الفصل okay Hamid he exited from the classroom so Bilal Bilal here is the focal point of the sentence is the subject then we have this whole sentence خرج من الفصل خرج من الفصل this whole sentence is the khabar. Okay, because it's a verbal sentence. And then this verbal sentence, we can break this down as well. But if I said, for example, if I swap this round, and I said, kharaja min al-fasli, or kharaja bilalun min al-fasli, then this would be a verbal sentence. So if I started off with kharaja in the sentence, so if I said kharaja bilalun min al-fasli, then this would be a verbal sentence because the sentence has started with a verb. The sentence has started with a verb. Okay, hopefully we've understood the five types of khabar just to recap and explain which are the five so we have mufrad we have jarun wa majroorun we have dharf we have aljumla aljumlatu ismiya and finally, we have al jumlatu al fi'liya. There are the five types of khabar. So, hopefully, this lesson was of benefit. And if you have any questions, please feel free and comment in the comment section, and we will get back to you. Till, until next time, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.